Hey, what's going on guys? This is Wombro and um, today's video I'm going to be talking about like the best method to play Wombat Dungeon Master. Now this is my method and how I've been doing things and been able to accumulate things very fast. Um, I'll be touching up on that and also like how how long you should be doing your runs um, and then also specifically on nfts about the resources and which types of nfts give you resources i'm for some reason when i go online i don't see anything about um like the nfts and what resources give what so in this video i'm here to tell you about that and it would be really useful because i didn't know at all i kind of went off a limb and just bought other nfts and saw what gave resources and then kind of went from there so um, a first really good tip I'd like to start off on is, so if I back out of this game, um, on my app of Wombat, <clears throat> that I have Wombat Dungeon Master favorited. And so you definitely want to favor the game, so then right when you just load into um, the app, you can just click on it, load it, and it goes in, because I used to have to find the game, or I go into the game, so it's really... It's a lot easier to do that. And um, <clears throat> I, with the times, I usually do one hours when I'm awake. So when I'm like the five minute ones, you could do the five minute ones, but personally I do one hours because I just think it's more, you know, I really don't want to come back to my phone every five minutes and the rewards I'd say are um, just as good. So whenever I'm awake, I do the hour and I also use a timer. All phones, all smartphones have timers. So I just do a one hour run, one hour timer. The timer goes up. I collect the rewards. I do, I rinse and repeat over and over again. And that's how I've been able to collect all these um, resources. But when I go to sleep, I do the six hour um, run and then I will go to sleep. I'll set a, I, excuse me, I will set a timer um, to, for six hours and then I'll wake up. I know I'm waking up in the middle of my sleep to, to do another run, but, <clears throat> um, how shameful, huh? And, you know, I'll just, maybe I'll do another six hour or another hour. I'll just start my day and just start running, doing the hours. But I've just noticed to be that to be a very efficient and not too stressful, overwhelming type of thing. Cause I can imagine players who are just constantly doing the five minute runs so it comes down to how much you really want or how much effort you're putting into this. I'm kind of more, I'm offering or suggesting a more simple and not too crazy one because I'm that's just who I am, but it still works, you know, anybody. It's just my my strategy that I, should, I think people should know because I just haven't seen much content and most uh, YouTubers that are on YouTube, like doing Wombat, they're not, talking about this stuff they're just showing their their like nfts and their gains so um yeah um <clears throat> another important thing that you should see is so when you go when you see today's contribution at the top and then you hit that arrow oh no nope, don't hit that hit the arrow and then you know i i'm not gonna read all this but i will um you know, it just tells you about the game. It's really good if you haven't read it yet. It's it's important and it tells you about like what's going on. But um, with the update, you know, these resources that are above the level. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong with the um, the resources, but it's like uranium, iron, and coal. And so each one of these resources basically have a purpose to them. It's to buy items in the store. So if you go to the store, you can see that you can buy different things and these things like basically just upgrade or make things more rare. Um, and I've, you know, obviously you see the bottom one, I Faberge, Wombatium, Wombatium, correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> 10,000 uranium, that's a lot. Um, I've seen people on YouTube say like, oh, I'm going to farm it, but... And like, apparently it's like 300 USD right now or something, but I, I just, no, I'd probably... Um, what I'm talking about in this situation is like, I'd probably farm a mixture, for me, I'm going to farm a mixture of fairy, wombatium, and 
Beast Wombatium. It just comes down to the progression and what I end up making <clears throat> with my uranium. But from what I know, fairy wombatium, wombatiums are selling um, for a good price. And who knows if I'd want to sell right off the bat. So, yeah, like... Anyways, um, so let me talk about an important thing, which is like the NFTs and what harvests what. So I think if I'm not mistaken, I have every type of NFT from um, the game, from the games that you can use to stake in this game. And that may sound confusing, but it was like from other games and then you put it in here. So Chess Universe gives harvesting, gives coal, sorry. Chest gives coal, and, you know, I think everybody gets coal. I mean, um, I think coal is probably the least wanted uh, resource, from what I know. But it's always good to have it, and you see how, how I have, like, chest pieces and stuff. Um, the Wamplay Extras give iron. Tasty Talent, any of them, any addition, they give iron. Dino Parks, NFTs, they also give iron. King's Thrones gives iron. Archime at War gives coal. Another tasty talent giving iron. Um, and then up, there's only two that I noticed that actually give you uranium, and that's Upland and Hero Zero. But, I mean, you can get the lower-ended ones. From what I know, all the Mythics right now are just, like, sold, or they're just way overpriced. Like, it would there would be no reason to buy it. So I kind of got lucky on getting all these, but I hope that really helps you. It's like you can see what materials give what, so you can specifically buy the NFTs you need to aim and give yourself a goal for what you want to buy in the shop. And I, I really hope that helps you guys out because that's a really good thing. Um, so yeah, but your mining power, it's all combined. So even every one of those NFTs give you mining power. I'm sure if you're playing this game, you probably know. You could go into, once again, just read this, the how it works, or like the other tutorials. Um, and then another thing I will talk about is items. That is very important too. The unfortunate thing about with me and items is that I live in a area in the US where I am not allowed to buy wax. I understand I can get a VPN and like, you know, get it, but I'd rather not. What my idea is, is that I could, because you can win NFT items in the game, um, I just thought I should just use all my investment into NFTs and then continue to play and I should eventually get items. And I did actually. Um, I opened up my chest and I got an NFT pack and it gave me two bags and a light. So unfortunately it wasn't three individual ones, but I'm happy I got, I got two items. And then the, other, what I want to do if, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but this is what I'm thinking is I want to actually, so if I have two, um, bags, I want to level one up all the way to, here we go, level five and then sell it and then put and then just level it up. So it's a good idea if you have like duplicates or if you want to upgrade, you could sell um, or you could level it up over time and then sell it on the market. And so this is my only real wax economy is by getting NFTs or other packs. But for now, I'm completely EOS. I think that's one thing I forgot to talk about um, in the thing or like in this video. So yeah, and then packs, you could buy packs if you want. They're really good. If you get the mythic ones, oh my God, they give like um, I'm not going to talk about like the items and what they give. There is a spreadsheet online that you could find. And this video has gone on very long, but this one, this video is really important. It's just telling you about like what I'm doing and what you should do too, because it's probably like the best way to do it. I don't know if you have any, sorry, excuse me. If you have any like questions or suggestions on how to play better or I'm missing something, please put it in the comment section. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy I could tell you guys this because I just don't see anybody like really talking about this. So yeah, if you like this video, like it, subscribe. Um, and I plan on making a lot more videos. You guys have a wonderful day.